Mm. Now, we just said in the last part of the first portion for the Rastafari sabbatical study number 48, we were speaking about Shoftim, the Shoftim or Farajot. The Farajot are the judges, are the judges. And there's an important word here in this uh, particular Torah portion. Um, it, it says magistrates. Magistrates is another name for the Shoftim. Now, this Parsha, or this particular Kufa, the RSS number 48, it provides a constitution. It provides a constitution. And which constitution is it? It's the constitution of our divine heritage. See the preamble of the Ethiopian World Federation Constitution. So that's actually the, this is actually the prerequisite to function properly in that. You Now, the Constitution is a basic societal structure for the Beta Israel. It's a basic societal structure. Who are we? We are the line of the tribe of Judah society. A societal structure. Hmm. It makes sense. But what is this societal structure known as Shoftim? What is the origination of it? Now, give thanks to Brother Joe, right, Brother Joe Macy, um, because he touched on something in his, in this particular book right here, right, this particular book, and you probably can find this on the Internet, right, the, um, the, a book of the beginnings, right, and this is, uh, I think, volume two. So let's just go through this briefly, but this is a constitution, a basic society structure for Israelites. This parasha, it sets out the rules for magistrates, kings, Levites, prophets, cities of refuge, witnesses, war, and an unaccounted for corpse. Like if we find a dead body on our land, nobody know who it is, what happened, so forth. How do we deal with something like that? Very, you know, it might not seem like an important question now, but a very, very important um, question of consideration because, remember, we're a holy people. So how do we deal with something like that? Now, when I was studying this particular book under the chapter that in the Book of the Beginnings, Volume 2, Hebrew Cruxes, with the Egyptian illustrations. Now, Macy is like, he's really a, a very good wordsmith. You know, um, he speaks up here, um, he speaks up here uh, on page uh, 62, right? Um, he's talking here and he says uh, something about the, that, that whoever literalizes that which is symbolical, and requires oral interpretation. Okay, the Talmud, he says, um, question, whoever, or, or really, uh, quotation, whoever translates as a metor, metor geman in the Hebrew, or meturgem, or me, uh, turgum, meturgem, right, with similar Ethiopic and hard word, a verse in its closely exact form is a liar, says the Talmud. That is, whoever literalizes that which is symbolical, right, and requires oral explanation of its hidden meaning. So we're not to literalize that which is symbolical. You know what I'm saying? Not just us running around acting like we're judges, but really let's understand what is its symbolical meaning. And it was like the parable. A parable was given to the multitudes, right, but then to the deck of Mizamorit, to disciples, it's real hidden meaning was explained. So we see Yeshua practicing that form of true um, Ethiopic Talmudic um, study in his discipleship. And that's an example for I and I. It goes on to say, according to this, the literalizers are liars and incompetent exponents. Yet, the Christian world has never had any other teachers. Macy says, yet the Christian world, namely the Eurocentric Caesar Borgia's worshipping Christian world, they haven't had any other teachers. All the teachers were literalizers, literalizers, literal liars, you understand, know, of our Torah and scriptures. That's why it's so important, these Bible studies, to really get the over 
understanding. Now, listen to this scene right here. There was a Gentile. They, a Gentile inquired of Shammai. Shammai is one of the well-known Hebraic sages and Rebbe or the Rebim or Rambam, right, of, of, of Judaism. And this um, Gentile, he inquired, he said, how many laws do you have? How many laws do you have? Two, said Shammai, the written and the oral. Two. So remember, we're talking about the two truths, and maybe we should actually put this here, right, the two truths. So let's put this right here, the, the two truths. Now, what are the two truths? The two truths, we say Father, right, and Son, right, is one, right, the Father and Son is one. The two truths. Think about when Christ was asked about the commandments, which is the greatest. So he gave the greatest. He, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one. And then he said the second one was like unto it. Thou shalt love thy brother as thyself. You know what I'm saying? Thy neighbor as thyself. Now, what's very interesting about this is that when you look at the fact that the Ten Commands are really one command. The Ten Commands are one command. And, um... There are ten words, Asher Tekala, Asher Tekala, there's with the one word. That's why James, uh, James says in the book of James, if you break one, you break all. Now, James also clarified that this is called the royal law, the royal law or the perfect law of liberty, the Nikusawi Hug, the royal or the king's law. The king's law. Make a note of that. James speaks about it, and when you study the word, you'll find that the king's law or the royal law. Now, he says if you break one, you break all. Because it's, it's one command, and those are ten articles. Now, Yeshua Moshe, our black Lord and Savior, he, um, he simplified you know what I'm into two. Into two. Concerning this two truths. In other words, the first command... Hear, O Israel, Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Achad. And he said, you shall love, you know, the Lord thy God with your entire, you know, saying, basically saying the spirit, soul, and body, or that triunity, you know, saying, or trinity. See the mystery of the trinity, you know, saying, series that we're still embarking on, but we put up a couple of the vids previous to this series right here for this 48th Shabbat, this blue moon, um, this blue moon Shabbat, right? So the first command actually deals with the, or the first uh, um, 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 word that Yeshua said, Heo Israel, that deals with the first four. If you look at Exodus chapter 20, the first four are dealt with fear. And then the one that says to love thy neighbor as thyself, thy balingera, the one who you share bread with, you know, like an Ethiopian, a meso, one eats out of that, you know, off of one plate, you know what I'm saying? So that's your neighbor who you, in the Old Testament sense, who you share your bread with, in I and I sense, is who you share that, 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 that bread, that bread of Christ, is your brother, you know what I'm saying? Or your sister, right? Is your neighbor. So the second one, to love your neighbor as yourself, it takes care of the other six, six words. So the first four words are taken care of by the Shema, and then the next six are taken care of by what Christ said, that the second is like unto the first. Because the question that he was asked was, which is the greatest of the commandments? Which is the greatest? So the Shema is the greatest. And Shema means what? Shema means to hear. Bamarinya and Amharic, it's Simma. Simma. Or in the good, it's uh, Simma'a. 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 Right? Hear. Hear. Not to be a forgetful hearer of the word, but a doer of the deed. But it begins with the hearing of the word. In Romans, um, Hawaii of Alos, he, he, he says, well, how can they hear unless there be a preacher or a proclaimer, a sabaki. How can they hear the word? And how can there be a sabaki or a preacher unless that one is sent? 
You know, unless that one is sent, right? So there are the foundations that we have to look at. You know, what I'm saying? almost like prerequisites. It's an order here. It's almost like a constitution. You understand? Know how are we constituted? And, and that's how, how do we come together in unity? It's around the unity is in the knowledge of the Bain, Ha, Elohim, Hu. You understand? Know the knowledge of the Son of God. This is how we come to that unity. You understand? Know Until we all come into that unity. All right? All right. Stay tuned. Shalom Rastafari.